During a media conference, the acting chief of the Namibian Defence Force responded to allegations made by the official opposition party president about him being intimidated by soldiers after requesting for an audience with the army general in Karibib. The opposition party president McCain Venani's behaviour during the visit was described as childish by the army leader. Honorable Venani's behaviour and threats directed towards our national Defence Force members who were at their property and doing what they have been ordered to do by their superiors was uncalled for, childish, unacceptable and cannot be tolerated by any peace-loving Namibian. Mr. Venani took it upon himself and he was even wagging his fingers in the face of soldiers, telling them that he is not their equals. The question is, what was he doing there if those soldiers, those members, were not his equals? So such a kind of behaviors cannot be tolerated, especially if it's directed at the members of the Namib Namibian Defense Force. Last week, the Popular Democratic Movement President McKen Rivanani called a press conference to condemn the treatment by the army. What surprises me is that when I went to see the general I, or the commander, the colonel, I had a discussion with him. There was a lack of courtesy, first and foremost. A person of my caliber, who is a shadow leader by all intents and purposes of all democracies in the world, a shadow leader of the country, I am received under a tree outside a military base. Outside the military base, just at the gate. This is where I was received. So when I engaged him and asked him that I have visited various international military bases around the world and in our country, how is it possible that you don't have a holding room to have a discussion with me as I was accompanied by a chief in that area and the delegation of the drought stricken farmers to try to find a win-win situation on the farm? No, we don't have permission. You must have a letter to enter our base. I said, but the people that are coming in to lease out army tents to their, for their weddings and funerals, what letters do they have? No, they can come in. But there is grazing, ample grazing land on the farm. The next morning they are arriving with six armored vehicles with five old Brownings mounted on the vehicles. 200 soldiers, recovery so, uh, uh, vehicles from the defense, apparently now to come and push the farmers outside, uh, outside the corridor. And I said to them, we had a very heated encounter, that this is not the way that uh, we should work with one another. I'm not afraid of guns, I'm not afraid of any intimidation in this country. But I am here to find the solutions for the farmers. The invasion of farm Etiro started in March soon after President Akenkop declared a drought crisis. The NDF allowed the farmers to graze their livestock on the farm, but later took measures to reduce the number of farmers. However, the NDF acting chief stated that the situation was later aggravated by the arrival of the political leader. We remained lenient towards those that trespassed by allowing them to graze their cattle at a very small scale. We then undertook to strengthen the fence to prevent the escalation of invasions. While the fence was being strengthened, more farmers arrived and infiltrated their cattle into the farm at night. It was then at that point we decided to instruct the farmers to stop trespassing on the Ministry of Defense property by removing their cattle. They removed their cattle but still remained camping in the corridors. And the arrival at the scene by Honorable McNary Venani aggravated the matter as during the night of that very day the fence was again cut and the cattle driven into the property. Pinaz is therefore advising the public and political leaders to refrain from trying to tarnish the image of the state security with false allegations.